Good morning, everybody. Day 37, I think. Yeah, day 37 on the old uh, mountains to sea trail here. I am finishing up segment 13. This is the last little um, state forest section here. Uh, I do not plan on doing anything in segment 14 because it's all road walking for 60 miles. So when I get done with this in a couple of miles, I get to try and hitch in a low volume, on a low volume road going in a direction that probably nobody's going to go. So uh, yeah, this hitching thing might, might be an adventure. Uh, let's see, anyway, oh, uh, last night, spent the night in White Lake, which, that's a, uh, it's an interesting American subculture, that lake. Um, so for those of you who don't know what White Lake is, you're not from North Carolina, it is a eh, roughly roundish oval shape lake in the middle of, you know, the, the low country here where, um, you know, freshwater lake opportunities are limited. Um, and it is labeled as a resort community. Um, so the, the entire lake is ringed, and I mean ringed, with um, little piers and docks and, and stuff like that. And, um, uh, and attached to those docks, the properties that, you know, that those docks belong to, appear to be just one trailer park and or RV park um, after another, after another, after another. So um, I think they've gotten a little liberal with the term resort <laughs> community. Um, yeah, that, that's, that's not a resort community. Um, uh, anywho, uh, on the maps and on the guidebooks and all that stuff, uh, you can see that there are numerous uh, campgrounds, probably, probably half a dozen of them, um, uh, uh, on the path as I'm coming around uh, the big old lake. So I assumed as I'm strolling into town, uh, to the lake, last night around 5.36, you know, I'll just get a tent site in one of these campgrounds and uh, that'll be easy peasy. Not so easy peasy. They, uh, sort of like how they're confused with the English on being a resort community, they're also confused on what a campground is. Um, they're, like I said, there's about a half a dozen of them. Not a one of them has tent sites available. Just don't have it. They are simply RV parks. That is it. And um, these RV, these RV parks, uh, the, these are not transient RVs. They're there for like the, the summer, the year, the decade. Um, so the phrase campground, um, bit of a misnomer. So if you're watching these videos and you're coming into White Lake, uh, know that you're going to probably have to shack up in one of these little um, the, one of these little motels because there's no tenting opportunities uh, at White Lake. So, so yeah. So today, trying to finish this up, catch a hitch over to Burgall, uh, where I can get back in the woods for a day and a half. Um, and then we're pretty close to the water. Trick is getting my fanny over to Burgall. That's going to be one tough hitch. But... Sometimes the toughest hitches are the easiest hitches. <laughs> How's that for some Yogi Berra logic? <laughs> yeah, so the topography has changed a little. We're not in the mountains anymore. So that hitch I said was gonna be a tough hitch. 
here's the road. Note the plethora of vehicles driving by. Uh, so yeah, I've been here about an hour in the direction that I'm going, which is that way. Um, I don't know, 12 vehicles have gone by, so maybe one every about five minutes or so. Uh, and, and half of them are, well not half, but about a third of them are um, 18 wheelers. So, you know, a lot of them can't pick up hobos on the side of the road. So yeah, this is uh, this is interesting. We'll hang out for a few hours, see if we can get a hitch. And suffice to say, there's no Uber around here. 